troops, welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz and this is Fortnite Save the World. Now, it's, today is the day that the cram session's now like done. So we're in, into the cram event now, which is pretty awesome. Now, when I first got here, I was kind of a little bit like, meh. Now, it's because I, the first thing you do on an event, like you've probably all done in Battle Royale, which we're going to review later on today, but usually you go straight to the event store and think, right, what cool stuff are there? And the only thing that I saw was really different was this here, the Copper Ratata. Now, that looks pretty awesome. Everything else, though, looked pretty similar. And I thought, well, I've got a lot of this. This, the, I mean, this side of it, the left-hand side, is these five things in it. That's it. So I was a little bit disappointed when I first logged in. But it gets better. So let's just have a quick look at these items first, and then I'll tell you why this event's actually pretty cool. Okay, so first off, Mega Base Cal. We're gonna see a lot of people using Mega Base Cal now because I wasn't sure if the event store was gonna reset. I spent as much of my gold as what I could. So if you look on here, I've not got much just left just yet. So we're gonna be getting these over the next few days. But Mega Base Cal, I've got already. This guy is an absolute beast of a hero, one who you should definitely have in your arsenal. Now, I did a video a while ago about um, heroes you should get from the collection book, and obviously we named this guy. Now, he's absolutely awesome. If we look at his bonuses and what he's actually got on there, so what you've got is Creative engineering on there, so he's got increased building speed by 10% and reduced building cost by 10%. So this guy's gonna save you mats from the get-go. He's got plasma pulse on there as well, which can be useful for wave clear. Now his base is absolutely awesome. Now look at this, he's got a four second cooldown on it. The base alters the matter of the connected building pieces. We know that already, we've seen that. Affected walls will do energy damage to any enemy that strikes the wall with a melee attack. Now that's what husks do mainly. You know, obviously it's not gonna hit back the ones that are firing at the wall, but it's pretty, you know, it's pretty beastly when it comes to us just going at your wall at you. You've also got attached structures gain 12% uh, damage resistance and extends three segments from the placement, which is absolutely huge. So it's a big, big base already. Only one base can be active at a time, which we know about. It, that even gets better as well. It's going to keep on getting better this as we scale him up. You've got automated defenses, so increases base connectivity by one building piece. You've got fast build, so increases building construction by 24%. This guy can get a building up fast. You've also got Bull Rush as well. I mean, God, can you imagine if you had that in BR as well so we could build that quick? That'd just be epic. You've also got on there Electrified Floor, so enemies within the area affected by the base take damage every two seconds. Big Brother increases base connectivity by one building piece. Uh, fully Contained, so increases the damage reflected by the base by 50%. Kinetic Overload, you know about already. And then these two at the bottom, you've got Lofty Architecture, so increases the health of buildings within the area by 15%. And then Mega Base, which is his main, this is like his dueling crown, if you like, increases base connectivity by two building pieces. So the bases you can build with this guy can be massive, they can be put up fast, and they're gonna damage enemies. I mean, that guy, for me, is probably one of, you know, one of the best heroes in the game. He's certainly the best constructor in the game, in my opinion, but it's totally down to you. You guys might have someone else, you know, a good case for like power based knocks and some of the other constructors as well but this guy for me is my favorite constructor and one you should be picking up armory slots i normally pick them up towards the end of an event just to make sure i get them all you've also got the survivor always pick those up as well we talked about survivors being important for your power level up here make sure you pick the survivor up as soon as what you can you've got the gunslinger meh and then you've also got the rare schematic meh them two won't be bought by me i won't be getting those now this little beast here the copper pulverizer this looks pretty cool so I'm quite looking forward to getting this one. We'll definitely do a weapon review on that probably next week. But, you know, once I've got it all leveled up and once we've got it done. But these are one of the, uh, it's part of the hydraulic set. A hammer that delivers a very high knockback at a slow swing rate. Hydraulic smash, heavy attack that knocks back foes. It's really good. I'm really looking forward to that one. I love hammers in the game anyway. And using that with Mega Base Kyle will just be so, so good. Now the Copper Ratata, this looks interesting. Uh, I've not used this yet. I'm sure there'll be reviews up before I get around to it. As I said, what's happening is I'm going away this weekend, so I can't actually level up the weapons and things like that just yet. But we will be getting around to leveling that up as well. We'll probably take that up to 106 or maybe even 130 and see just what we can get. And it's a pistol as well, so we'll probably use it with the new Rio character that we've got, the field agent. You've got the legendary flux in there. Make sure you buy all of that up before that's out. The copper equalizer, you could get that. I would probably just get the siege breaker from the, uh, from the collection book, but that's down to you guys. Armory slots as well, get them at the end of the event. And that's it. Obviously, get your mats as well. A lot of people miss out on that. They're really cheap for what they are. For what you actually get in there, for the amount of gold that you get in, these are really good. So make sure you pick up your mats as well. Epic Flux is always great. Pure Drops of Rain, never have enough of those. And obviously, your perk up as well. Uh, always get re-perk. 
<laughs> just because I always do. And if you've not got a good set of wall darts, you could use the coins for that. I've always got so many coins. I just never, I never spend them enough. I might even get the copper Armageddon. Do you know, we've never done an, I don't think I've ever done an axe review. And that looks pretty cool. So maybe the copper Armageddon is one that we could look at. I'd never use axes. I think I'm good. I think I'm going to level that one up in time. But anyway, so that's the event store. That's that's everything. You know, there's not much in there, really. It's quite small in comparison to what we've had in the past. There's not much in there. All the heroes are still, uh, you know, they've all gone now. So like Thora and Ragnarok and all those, they've all gone now. So this is like the reset. But where this event actually looks good, you know, there's two areas here. First off, the map. Now, if you just go into your area that you're actually in, so we're level, we're power level 88. So let's, let's look at the 88 missions that we can do then. So if we look at these, look, you've got double rewards for these. So double amounts of hero XP there. Do you know if you if you want to get that? I mean, look at the rewards on that one. That is just nuts. 76% epic perk up. 60%? 76 epic perk up. 65 reaper. You've got the gold on there and you've got all this on there. There's just loads of missions that have got double rewards. If you go for these four player ones, OMG, look at that double epic perk up. I mean, that makes me want to do that like right now. I've got five and a half hours to do that. So I've got plenty of time. But look, I mean, the rewards on this are just good so you're going to be able to level things up get a ton of schematic xp hero xp what i would say in this event guys is make sure that you're just farming it's called a cram event so make sure you're cramming in you know make sure you get lots of game time in there and just make sure that you're farming as much as what you can you could potentially get a ton of schematic xp and stuff from this hero xp you know perk up everything that you've been looking for that you've not been able to get that you feel it's too slow to grind then this is what you're going to get. Personally, I think this should be the speed of the game anyway. Do you know, I think these rewards look about what I would want. I think this would be good. I mean, there was one lot. Double Survivor XP. Because uh, that's something I'm farming right now, the Survivor XP. Double Lightning in a Bottle that you've got there. But just look at these that have got the Storm on them. And you're going to be getting double rewards on a lot of them. See, even that one's a good one. And that one's a low-level one. So, do you know what? Make sure that you're going through all these Double Lightning in a Bottle. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, three lots. I mean, that is just nuts. I mean, that for a reward, again, that makes me just want to go onto it right now. So definitely make sure that you are getting the game time. And if you've been away from the game for a while, you know, and you're looking to come back, now is a good time to actually come back, to actually build stuff up, because you can actually level up super fast. And I do still think there's a Halloween event on the horizon. So, you know, fingers crossed for that. But make sure, I probably won't even spend all the schematic XP and all the hero XP. Maybe just like finish off some heroes that you've got going. But try and like keep as much as what you can to one side because I think we're going to need it because I think we're going to have a lot of cool stuff coming in the next few weeks or months. Apparently the content's not coming for another couple of weeks yet. But let's just have a look at this. I'm not even done yet. So if we just have a quick look at, this is supposed to be a short video. But if we have a look at this as well, the Cram Session event missions, these are all pretty cool as well. So we've got this one as well. Look, so explore the world while completing missions. So you just all you have to do is explore an entire zone, which can be absolutely easy to do. And then look what you get. 6K hero XP, 6K chromatic XP, and 4K survivor XP, which is absolutely bats. You've got the treasure chest loot. I'm doing a video tomorrow on that, on how to find uh, safes and treasure chests. Super easy. You can have them done in a day. Do you know? So you can have them done. So that'll be 300 gold and 20 pure drops of rain that you can just get. And there's just a ton of stuff that you can get. I'm glad that they kept this one in there, Danger in the Mist. I was a little bit worried they were going to get rid of that one, but that's just a super fast reperk farm. You can just do the encampments, kill 50 uh, mist monsters, so things like blasters, takers, and things like that. And what that actually means is then you're going to get 100 reperk. So if you do 10 of those missions, you can reperk a weapon, which is not that bad, John, when you think about it. And don't forget, you're going to be getting reperk like super fast now because of the map. And then you've got the others as well. So like you fire up, you amp up, and you frost up, but all still on there as well and still available. So ultimately, you know, still a really good event, I think. Now I've not opened the llamas yet. I've literally only just come onto the event right now. So if we just go over here, now what we've got, I've got my legendary troll stash llama. Let's open it. Let's have a see what we get. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed is something good. All right, so far so good. All right, I'm gonna skip through the, the blues just till we get to the purples. Alright, so I'm really after survivors, really. Or a cozy campfire, I'll take that. <laughs> what else have we got? Give me a survivor. Um, let's take that one. Let's take this one. Ooh, shotgun though. Yeah, I want, I want a good... We are using the Tiger Jaw a lot. I've got an awesome one as well, uh, donated yesterday, that we're going to be reviewing. So, the Maverick or the Nightclaw? Hmm. Do you know what? I'm going to go for the Nightclaw, because I think we've got a Maverick already. All right, why not? We can review that one. I 
don't think I've even got that yet. All right, look at this. I've got 10 mini llamas. I'm not going to open them on cameras because mini llamas are pretty basic. But what I am going to open is, let's open these four legendary troll stash llamas and just see if they are any good. See if they're worth it. <laughs> I, do, I still love the narrative on the llamas. It's still awesome, isn't it? Right, okay, here we go. All right, I always speed through the the blues and just wait till we get to the purples. So there we go. So I do want survivors, but I'm after legendary ones, really. I wish you could evolve survivors. That would just be a game changer, wouldn't it? Skirmish at Edge. Do you know what? Underrated. Definitely underrated. He may be one that we need to uh, we need to do. All right, here we go. This is the second llama then that we've got. Come on. All right, speed through the trash. Here we go. All right, give us something good. Sniper or shotgun? Ah, uh, it's epic. We'll go sniper. Why not? Might get something like awesome, maybe. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe we could get the copper laser rifle and maybe like do it up later on. Less. That's interesting. All right, we could do something with that. Epic defender. Thank you for that. <laughs> Oh, another axe review. I think we've got some axe reviews coming up, people. Floor schematic or wall schematic. We'll go floor. Let's go floor. Why not? Um, doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't really matter on those. Okay, so two terrible legendary troll stash llamas so far. So hopefully these are going to be better. Okay, let's see what we get. Go through the blues. Dragon Scorch. Boris's favorite. Okay, survivor. Just give me one legendary survivor with something that I need on it. That's all I'm asking. It's not too much. Oh, let's go, pistol. Why not? Ooh. Now, you see. <laughs> This is more like a meme gun, and I don't. I, I did a review on this. I wasn't a big fan. It's funny to use, but this is by far the better one of the two pistols there. If you get that choice ever, you want the Dragon's Breath, for sure. That's a great pistol. And available in the collection book, I believe, as well. Let's go for a wall trap. Pretty much got all the traps. All right, so far, not good. <laughs> Come on, give us some better RNG. Give us something. All right, here we go. Got a good feeling about this one. <laughs> I really haven't got a good feeling about this one. All right, epic survivor, legendary survivor. No, nope. This is it. No, it's not. As a hunter killer. Yes. Oh, I think that's one that I need. That's the pragmatic one that I th I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's have a quick look. All right, so squad survivors, survivors. Nope, got all those. Got all you. What do I need? Have I really got them all done now? Oh, look, it's this one I need. It's the combat one that I need, look. So I actually need this one at the end. I thought I needed that. I need competitive, not pragmatic. So hey ho. Let's have a see if I've actually got any. Nope, I haven't got anything. I thought that one was gonna be it. Alright, okay. Well, we, we accept that. We can accept that. Alright, I think we've got one to open here as well. What is this? Oh, it's a road trip llama. <laughs> great. Out. These were great. Well, let's get another copper fish hook. Copper fish hook or Sahuti? Place your bets right now. Sahuti or copper fish hook? Let's have a look. Which one is it? <laughs> it's going to be one of them. <laughs> it's the fish hook. Of course it is. Or both. They should have called them fish hook and hooty llamas. Booty fish hook llamas. That would have been a better name for them. <laughs> All right, then, guys. Well, that's everything that I've got. I just wanted to go over the event a little bit. Just look at the event store and kind of just let people know that the event's actually not all that bad. You know, when you look at the rewards, what you could get it is a cram event. You know, it's to, you know, we need to cram this in and we need to make sure we make these days count. So if you're actually farming, you know, any sort of XP, just make sure you kind of amass a ton of it. And I think there's actually potential here because I think what we're actually doing is we're cramming before the big, uh, before the big event. So make sure that you don't miss out by, you know, overlooking this event because I think it's going to be quite important 
And I think you're going to be looking back, Joe, some of us are going to be looking back and thinking, oh, I wish I'd have got more Hero XP, I wish I'd have got more of that. Not that we don't do that every day anyway, because that saved the world all over, but I think that there's massive potential here. So just make sure that you guys utilize it and make sure that you take advantage of the massive opportunities that I think we've got right now. Because I think it's not going to be for that long, you know, and then I think that once we've actually got everything that we need, we're going to be able to spend it all in the Halloween event, and that could be absolutely great for all of us. But guys, let me know what you think down below. I'd love to know, do you know what you think's coming next? Have you heard anything that I haven't heard yet? Do you know, let me know in the comments down below because I do like it when we have a discussion on these things. So please don't forget to comment. Massive, massive thanks for watching, guys. If you're here for the first time and you've not watched the Little Town Army before, make sure you join us by hitting that red button as you leave, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care now, guys. Happy farming.